below that. What you may not be familiar with is us. Our strengths are a little bit different, but they're entirely complementary. We are all about computer architectures. We're about scale and scope and being able to deliver in high volume the world's best technology, the world's best processors. And what we are most about is the relentless advancement of Moore's Law to give you better and better machines year after year. And so after almost 30 years, Apple and Intel are together at last. And I don't think of this as a fairy tale with a happy ending. I think of this much more as an exciting and important story with a very, very happy beginning. Thank you very much. Thanks, Paul. That was great. So where does that leave us? Well, Apple is strong. Apple's pretty strong right now. And the Mac is strong. We saw this. So this is great. This is a great time to start building for the future, to make us even stronger. We know transitions. We've been through two of them. And they've kept our platform at the forefront. And we're going to continue to be bold and begin a third transition today as far as the developers are concerned to make the best machines we know how to make in the future. This transition isn't going to happen overnight. Again, we're making awesome machines right now. We got a lot of great power PC products in the pipeline. But we are also working to design some Intel-based Macs. And when we're here next year, we plan to have them in the marketplace. And there will be a transition over the next two years. We're getting ready. We've done a lot of work, as you've seen today. OS 10 is running fantastic on Intel processors. Xcode 2.1 in your hands today. Rosetta for our customers, for those apps that are not universal on day one. We've already made a big investment in this, and we're fairly far along. It's time for you to get ready too now. And what do you have to do to get ready? One thing. Create universal binaries of your apps. We've got a lot of stuff going on at the conference to help you today. Over 90 of the 95 presentations that we've got here today include content about universal versions. A hundred developer systems in seven labs, and the labs are open every night till at least nine o'clock. I think tomorrow night they're open till midnight. So go see if you can beat Teo and his team on Mathematica. 500 Apple engineers on site. So if you brought your source code, go for it. And when we meet again here next year, we will have Macs with Intel processors entering the market. I suspect a lot of you will be shipping universal binaries. And we will be very excited to keep pushing the frontiers and tell you about Leopard when we meet again here next year. Because more than even the processor, more than even the hardware innovations that we bring to the market. The soul of a Mac is its operating system, and we're not standing still. So I'll see you all here next year, and uh, I look forward to a lot of universal binaries. Thank you very much.